Welcome to European Claims in America. This video will review some key information about the reasons countries claimed land and established colonies in America. As you've heard since elementary school, America was discovered by European explorers who were searching for a faster trade route to Asia and the Far East. Ever since Marco Polo returned from China with riches, spices, and cloth, Europe had been working to find a faster route east. Many countries in Europe set their eyes on America. It was a new world to Europeans, but Native Americans had lived there for hundreds of years. Each European country wanted to be the first to discover its riches and claim them for their king or queen. This competition over America was also encouraged by the church. Each church wanted to spread their beliefs and claim converts in this newly discovered land. In 1517, a monk named Martin Luther led a reform movement that challenged the practices of the Catholic Church. He believed that many church doctrines, doctrines are the beliefs and rules of a particular religion, went against what he read in the Bible. He wrote what were called the 95 Theses and is said to have posted them on the door of the cathedral. In his Theses, Luther claimed the church had become too worldly and too greedy. He also challenged the idea that people needed a priest to be saved. He claimed that people could be saved only by their faith in God. As you can imagine, this angered many people. Luther's challenge of the Catholic Church became known as the Reformation, and the people who joined his Reformation were called Protestants. This Protestant Reformation divided Europe and sparked the creation of many new denominations or types of Protestant Church. The Reformation also led to religious rivalries between countries of Europe, especially Catholic Spain and Protestant England. Although many countries established colonies in America, the majority of land was claimed by Spain, France, and Britain, also known as England. The Dutch also established several significant colonies. The colonists came to America for many reasons. Among these were to get a new start in life, practice their religion freely, and to find riches like gold, silver, and trade goods. The British colonists established their colonies on the east coast of North America. They built their riches on trade goods. Although they successfully searched for and found gold and silver, their real treasure came with the introduction of tobacco to the European market. The natural resources found in North America and the ability to grow crops like tobacco and sugar cane helped the British colonies become a true source of riches for the British Empire. The 13 colonies established by the British in lower North America were as different and independent as separate countries. These colonies would eventually become the United States. We will discuss the British colonies in more detail in a future video. The colonies from Spain built their riches primarily on gold and silver. They established many mines and enslaved the Native American people to work in these mines. The gold and silver was then sent on ship back to Spain. The rivalry between Spain and England spread to the seas when Queen Elizabeth of England ordered her fleet of ships to raid the Spanish treasure fleets returning from America. The Spanish colonists also introduced domesticated animals to the American continent. Horses, cattle, pigs, and many other animals were brought over on Spanish ships and used in their colonies. The Spanish also began building a series of missions to help spread the Catholic faith and presidios or forts to protect the colonists in America. The colonies from France built their riches primarily on fur trapping and the fur trade, as well as fishing for cod. Many of the French fur trappers lived with the Native Americans in their villages, often marrying within the tribe. The Native Americans taught the trappers how to survive in this new land, sharing the best places for laying their traps and where to hunt for food. Little did they know. Accepting and helping the trappers would eventually lead to over-trapping and a loss of food for their tribes. The French built many forts along the Mississippi River to protect their furs as they shipped them down to the port at New Orleans. Once they reached the port, their furs were loaded onto ships bound for Europe. 
The Dutch colonies from the Netherlands were rivals with both the French and British colonies. The Dutch purchased Manhattan Island in 1626 from the Native Americans and established a trading center. They named their town New Amsterdam. The Dutch controlled the city until 1664 when the British took it from them by force and renamed the city New York. And now you know some key information about the reasons countries claimed land and established colonies in America.